Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. By the way, if you don't want to create it, then you can download this project file, as well as the rendered video from the link in the description. So, let's have a look. This video is sponsored by Skillshare.com. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in design, video editing, motion graphics, and more. You can join any class, try any project, and take them anywhere, anytime. Learn, collaborate, and even teach a class of your own. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes from experts working in their fields so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities, and do the work you love. Visit the link in the description, and get your two months of Skillshare Premium Access for free. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Subscribe Button Animation. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution. But this time, I am using a frame rate of 60. To make a smoother look. Now the first step is to create a new solid. Let's call it the background. I am using a light grey color for it, so that, I can see my shapes on it. We will hide this layer, at the time of final rendering. Now, make sure to unselect any selected layer. Then go to the tools, and select the rectangle tool. Please note, my fill is set to a solid color. And my stroke is set to the none. For the fill, I am using a bright red color. Just like the real YouTube subscribe button. Now start creating a rectangle on it. I am keeping the size this bigger. I am also making the color a little darker, to avoid the eyes, from burning. Let's rename this layer as the red button background. Now again, go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. You can download this font from the link in the description. Press Ctrl, plus Enter, to eject from the typing tool. And then press V, to select the move tool. Align your shape, as well as, the text into the center. Let's animate this shape. Go to around 1 second forward, and then, press P, to open position. Now add a keyframe on it. Go to the starting position, and change the Y position value, to a higher number. Now select both keyframes, right click on it. Go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, and if your graph does not look like this, then right click here, and choose edit speed graph. Now select this keyframe, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the timeline, and now our animation looks like this. Cool, for animating this text, I am going to parent it, with this shape layer. If your parent tab is not visible here, then press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key is too old for work, then right click here, go to the columns, and select the parent. As well as, select the modes, because we are going to need this. Now grab this pick whip, and drop it onto the red button layer. Now you can see, our text is also animating with this shape layer. Cool. Let's make a duplicate of this shape layer, and call it the white button background. Now select these layers, and then press P, to open position. Now go to around 30 frames forward, and then click here to add a keyframe on it. Again, go to the 30 frames forward, and this time, change the position of the red button, so that it will go to the left, 
and for the white button layer, change the position to the right. Let's change its fill color. I am using a pure white color for it. Now, place it below the red button layer. Now go to the end keyframe, and adjust the position, if you need. Cool. Let's import our icon into the project, you can download it from the link in the description. Grab this bell icon, and place it on this composition icon, to create a comp, with the same size as this bell icon. Perfect. As you can see, this screen looks black. This is because, our transparency grid, is off. Click on this icon, to turn it on. Now you can see the icon. Let's zoom in a little, and then go to the tools, and select the pen tool. Make sure your layer is selected. Now start creating a mask around this bell. Avoid these rings, because we are masking the bell part only. Complete your mask, and now the rings will disappear. See, I told you. Let's make another duplicate of it. Then press M, to open the mask, and change the mask to subtract. Now our bell and the rings are on their own separate layers. This is what we want. Now open scale, then go to around 3 seconds forward. And add a keyframe on it. Go to the 30 frames backwards, and then change the scale value. So that the rings will fit inside this bell icon. Here we have this simple animation. Now select these keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the timer line, and then, go back to the main composition. Grab this bell icon comp, and place it above this white button layer. Open scale, and adjust the size of it. Also, place this bell icon, on this white portion. If you go to a few frames forward, you can see the bell icon animation is playing here. Cool. But in the beginning, the icon is not moving with the shape layer. So let's parent this bell icon, with this white button layer, by using the parent option. Now it is moving with the layer. Cool. Let's create the click effect now. Make sure to unselect any selected layer. And then go to the tools, and select the ellipse tool. I am using a grey color for the fill. Now create an ellipse, of the same size as this white box. Make sure to create a perfect circle, while holding the shift key on your keyboard. Select the move tool, and then go to around 30 frames position. Press T to open opacity, and add a keyframe to it. Go to the starting position, and change the opacity value to 0%. Now go to the 1 second position, and change the opacity value to 0% as well. Here we have this simple fade in, and fade out animation. Now select all keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Let's rename this layer as click effect. Ram preview this, and this is our animation looks like. Cool. Now place this click effect, onto the time position, where the mouse click is going to happen. For example, my first click is going to start, from the first second. Also, I am placing it in the center. Let's change its blending mode to multiply. And this is how it looks now. Cool. Let's create a duplicate of it, and place its position, for the bell icon. Make sure the timing matches with the bell icon animation. I am placing it above the bell icon. Always check your animation, to know what you are doing. Cool. Adjust the minor changes, and then you are good to go. Perfect. This looks good to me. 
It's time to add the cursor into the animation. Place this cursor icon, on top of all images. And change the size of it. I am using a scale value of 15. At this point, I am placing the cursor position, at the center of this click effect. Now open position, and add a keyframe on it. Go to the 30 frames position, and change the position to outside from the screen. My cursor is coming at this position, just before the click effect is going to happen. For matching up the timing, you must adjust the keyframe position. Let's move for the bell icon. Go to around this position, and click here to add a keyframe. Move forward, before the click effect is going to start appearing, and place the cursor position on it. Again go to 3 and half second position, and add a keyframe on it. Now at the 4th second, I am changing its position to outside from the screen. Select all keyframes, right click on it. Go to keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Ram preview this, and see, what you have to change now. In my case, the animation is happening quickly. So let's adjust the keyframes, to make it a little bit settled. I am also making the click effect shorter, by bringing the keyframes closer. Cool. Let's do the same with this second effect as well. Press U, to open keyframes, and bring these keyframes closer, to increase the speed of the animation. Adjust the position, so that the timing should match. Cool, let's do some final touch-ups. Select the bell icon layer, and go to the position, where the click effect is starting. Here press T, to open opacity, and add a keyframe on it. Go back to a few frames back, and change the opacity value to 50%. Adjust the keyframe position, so that it will increase only when the click happens. Select both keyframes, and place them according to the starting of the click effect. Now right click on it, go to keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Cool. Now for the last step. Select subscribe, and red button background layers, right click on it, and choose pre-compose. Let's call it subscribe button. Now go to the effects and the presets, and here search for the hue saturation effect. Apply it onto the layer and then go to the starting position of first click effect, and then add a keyframe on channel range. Go to a few frames forward, and change the master saturation value, to negative 100. Cool. Let's trim out our comp, at 6 seconds. Ram preview this. And our animation is complete, I will see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. If you want to download pre-made templates, sound effects, and stock footage, make sure to visit the Envato Elements, you can check the link in the description.